morning. I just woke up. I heard, I knew I needed to do a reading for myself. And you guys, but I thought they were going to be separate. And I thought they were going to come later. But they're coming now. So here I am. Even though I have not worked out yet or done anything, I haven't even brushed my teeth. Good thing you can't smell my breath. <laughs> it's glutes day. It's glutes and hamstrings day. All right, so I have no idea where this reading is gonna go or how long it's gonna be, but I know that we're starting with the Romance Angels, which is always a little terrifying for me. Oh, I, yeah, I feel them. This is my good morning face. I have a Jesse Reyes song in my head, Mutual Friend. If you guys haven't heard it, maybe look it up. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's related to this. I haven't even called anything in or cleared it out, but I mean, not officially, but unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. The lyric that keeps going through my head is, if you died tomorrow, I don't think I'd cry. I gave you one too many nights. Don't care if it sounds cold. It is what it is. <laughs> And if you die tomorrow, I don't think I cry. I gave you. You need to check it out because she kills it. Wa look at the video. Watch the video. Or any of the. She did a live performance on like Fallon or Kimmel, one of them. And that was really good too. Okay. Should we see what's on the bottom? Or should we just shuffle? Because I know there's more. Let's look on the bottom and we'll shuffle. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, unrequited love. Hmm, those are in opposition. Uh, this is Twin Flame Runner Chaser, yeah. This is you watching this whoever, whatever you identify with, define masculine or feminine. I'm feeling like it's feminine, but it doesn't need to be that. And, and that could just be the, your divine masculine and feminine. But look at the card. She's like, yeah, kiss my hand. What? This thing just came in my head that I thought of, like, I didn't think of whatever. It was a realization that came to me at some point in my life. Um, that desire it isn't enough. Desire is a requirement. What you got beyond desire, Holmes? You feel me? <laughs> Feels kind of like that. I don't know about the attraction or chemistry part because I feel like there is both of those things. It's just that Right now, it, they can't be just that. It has to be more than that. And you could even just be like, um, oh boy, I don't even have water in here. Hold on, sorry. Reevaluating. Yeah. It feels also like you've stepped up a level of evolution of maturation, um, but of like, you've had, and remember, this is not masculine, feminine, non-binary. This is you, whoever you're watching this, whoever you are watching this, I'm talking to you right now. Okay. You've had a awake an awakening that has come from so much pain and you are in a place mentally with how you view yourself that you've never been in yet, or that you've never, you may have been in it before, but not as deep as it is right now. Like your posture, you know what I'm saying? Like you carry yourself different. 
Here's the thing though. I don't see defensiveness in this and I don't see guardedness in this, which would come for me that would show the more beginning of a journey or like even before you really start it. You know what I mean? When the fear and there's is still in there and there's still some resident trauma, traumatic resonance that is clearing out. I see grace, but I see fire and power, but, but, but like, but like the strength card, like gentle strength, you know what I mean? It's a, usually it's a female, like opening a lion's mouth or chilling with a lion, you know what I mean? Okay, and clearly there's twin flame. The soulmate card in this is the twin flame card in this deck. Yeah, look at these, hold on, it's telling me to look at these two. I'm not going to actually look at him. Okay, shovel. Something. Okay. <laughs> Cards. Very soon. Diagonally like that. Pointing down. But turning into the upright. Okay, so what do we get here? Release your X. The time has come to clear your energy. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This is so interesting. So there's definitely now, there's two storylines, I think, coming through. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. We have finances and career on the split. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that's currency, okay? What are you, how are you exchanging your currency and what currency is for exchange? So that's time, money, work. Do you know what I mean? Like, those are things. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It's like she's she's gathering back her self identity, her worth, her identity and her real the real source of her worth. It's like getting to know yourself will will open up the way you see who the person, whoever your person is. It is safe for you to love is on the other split cuz remember like it came apart Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You can relax. You can ease into the new timeline you're on. All the new, your new, the new you. You can, you can trust in your ability to discern better in the future. Discern in a deeper way than you did you ever have before. Oh, I need holdy things. <laughs> oh, hold on. I don't know where they are. Are they in my, oh, they might be in my window. Okay, they're so cold. Okay. Nephrite, Jade. Selenite. You tell these are my, I've been carrying these three for, I don't even know. I used to switch these guys up a lot, but they've been this, it's been this combo probably a year, probably maybe more than that. I don't know. Okay. You are working in communion with the divine. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do a uh, tarot if the two of cups comes up and the Ace of Cups, or the Queen of Cups, you know what I mean? Or the High Priestess, or the Hierophant, or the Hermit, the Hermit, or the Emperor, Emperor, or Empress, okay. But 
if you are any of if those, if any of those are your card, take this as confirmation, okay? If they're not, it doesn't matter, but. Okay. So it's like you're, you're stepping out of a period that was challenging and maybe made you feel invisible in some way. And your, the opinion you held of yourself was in conflict with, the opin with, with who you really are. And like you knew you were more than what you thought, but you weren't used to being more than you thought because you weren't reflected it from your environment enough that it fucked you up like that. You know what I mean? Something happened and it spurred you to take those pieces of you back to nurture, right? To start growing in the middle of barrenness. So kudos to you. And it's like the, the beginning, like the adolescent stage of it, right? If you had birth, infancy, now you're in adolescence going into like a teen, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so that's like what the environment is. Like that's what you're coming from. That's what's around, surround you. The things that you were attracted to before that weren't good for you, they're not going to be attractive to you anymore. You're going to have an awareness about them. And anything that is draining you or pulling from your reserve instead of your overflow or penetrating your energetic boundaries, that's, it's like, there's nowhere for that to enter anymore. You've closed it all up. You know what I'm saying? And not like, this, but like you're, you're, you're reinforced. You're reinforced and you're solid. So for those of you who are single, this is where you are and you're getting ready to open yourself up to a new relationship. It's a possibility, or maybe there's someone you have your eye on. It doesn't matter where you fall on that, but and for those of you who are in a relationship, this is you coming through a lot of conflict and miscommunications and pain and confusion and coming out clear, clear on all that and clearer. And this is an opportunity for you and the current relationship to grow deeper. Do you know what I mean? It has to be, there's like a starting over or yeah, like a new start, a, not a restart, but like, hey, this is where we were and who we were and now we're here, that's done, but we still feel this way about each other, right? So let's see what we are now. So it's another start, you know what I mean? It's the growth going from a seed to a stalk. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't like bring the stalk with you. What happens, you like leaves come off it in the bud or whatever, you know what I mean? That's where this is. And, and very soon, just clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Because you are in communion, you're co-creating with the divine, you have gotten your manifestation skills and you might not be totally aware of just how easy and quickly you are able to manifest. But that's what this is saying. You are a manifester. The universe is like, hey, you are a manifester. And where your attention goes, your energy flows. I know that's a corny thing, but like it's true. So in the past, there was things that you were contributing to on the negative, right? Worries, fears, those kinds of things. And this is saying, don't forget about your tendency to fall into that. Let this manifestation 
the divine part of you that's coming through this manifestation. Let it let it go from the stalk to the bloom, or I don't know, the bud. You know what I mean? You're going from the bud to the bloom. And it could be as quick as like overnight, the next morning it's open. You feel me? That's what this is saying. That's where, you, so you guys are all very powerful. Congratulations on being very in tune. This is pretty cool. Okay, hold on. Something else I'm trying to, I'm waiting. I have to wait a second and see what, what we're doing next because something is happening. It wants me to call in. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I just heard check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's for some of you guys. <laughs> Maybe that's like an alert you can have pop up in your head when something, when a, a trigger comes and you can hear ch -ch -ch chickity check yourself before you wreck yourself. That would make me laugh. I would definitely pause. You know what I'm saying? Okay, give your relationship a chance. We're, we're going on this and we're using the sun and moon. That's what, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's a fucking, the first card and guess what it is? It's the devil in reverse and look, there's a couple. But look at this, right? In opposition, but equal. And they're still, they're touching. Like, there's still so much love there. And definitely attraction. But the devil in reverse is overcoming it. Naming it. Recognizing how it manifests. What your triggers are. Seeing the lessons. Choosing them. And leaving it behind. The Six of Cups, this is fucking crazy. Which is the other Twin Flame card, Soulmate card. This is past lives, past lives, Soulmate. Look at that. Equally sharing. But in all of these, I want I want you to note that the female is the, is the focus and the female is always a little bit higher like physically than the man, the male. This one, they're kind of even. But it's the female who's making the choices in all of these. Do you feel me? It's the it's the feminine energy. So I'm saying that's you, What whatever gender you identify with. You watching, you're the feminine energy in this part of the reading at least. So that's just something to note that maybe up until this point, you've been a little bit ahead, just a little bit ahead in recognition, but that is how it is actually, if you're the feminine energy, because the feminine energy is the one that creates this, the, the environments. So you would be a little bit ahead because you're the creator, you're, you're receiving and you're, and you're, you don't just receive, you also process it but I'm thinking of a different word germinate or you know what I mean like an alchemize 
and then you at the end of that is whatever the truth is whatever whatever it is the feminine is that and the masculine the kings or emperors they're what what they bring to it is a recognition is a protection for the space for that queen or empress to have safety to create and then to physically enact whatever needs to be enacted to keep balance. So maybe that's it. All of that was just for whoever needed to hear that broken down in that way. That's what this is. So you might be coming to the realization of things a little bit faster, but don't discount where your partner is either. Don't use that as oh, I'm above or use that as that's just where you are. That's who you are. That's what, that's how it should be. Like if you put a hat on your head, you're going to be warmer. Whether you want to be warmer or not. You can't change that unless it's a cold hat. What, you know, you and then you were going to be colder. You feel me? But like that just is. It's like that, I guess. When you have a an instrument like a like a I have a ukulele, if I bring it from one environment to the other, if I bring it from outside to inside, and the temperatures are different, I have to keep it in its case and let it sit for a little bit, like some minutes, before I open it and expose it, or it can crack. You know what I mean? So it's just about that too. You don't want to enable them. That's not what it is. It's just you still have your boundaries. You still have who you are. You're still rooted. And you're just pausing and staying focused. So here's the thing. When you're in the pause, the focus should be on you staying in the pause, not when are they going to catch up? Will they catch up? They're going to do what they're going to do. And you're worrying about it or trying to figure it out is a form of control, needing to be in control and self-sabotage for yourself because it puts the onus on someone else. It needs to so strongly, I can feel a tingling through my hand, come to you, stay where you are, keep focusing on you because the truth will unfold and your discernment, remember, is different. You know who you are. There's unfinished energies here, you know? With, okay, what's the bottom? Seven of Pentacles. I think it's interesting that they call it the failure card because to me, it's so not. It's exactly what I just did. It's the reassessing of where it's taking into inventory. It's assessing inventory, taking stock of what the facts. Okay, we planted this many seeds. We did it at this time of day and this month with this climate. And now it's this many weeks or months, this much time later, and we want to get to here what worked, what didn't factually, what's worth taking a bet on and moving forward. It's like that. You know what I mean? It's you have that in your head, but all the while, your focus is still on you. That's just the questions you have, right? They like floating up here when you're in alignment and you have these things. And then you just keep moving and focusing on you. And those answers will pop up. They will. You don't have to do anything about it necessarily if you can't figure something out. You know what I mean? With with the Seven of Pentacles, it's, the, it's one of the only of the few times that we as divine and human beings are called on to use the human part of our brain to think, to analyze, you know what I mean? To use that part, but it's not supposed to stay there. It's just a boop, 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 boop. Think of it as like lifting 20 pounds. How long can you hold that for? Before you, you know what I'm saying? It should be temporary and it should be focused but the focus should be here, always, first. Sense? Makes sense? So that's really what this, that's really what this is. And if you're single, it applies the same way about your future person, you know? 
the heart of this reading is, well, the heart of this reading is communion. But it's communion with your relationship with self and divine first and how that is in alongside in kind of in comparison is coming up but I don't feel like that's the right word in relevance and re I don't know with an uh, your partner or your person or or your future energies you know what I mean this was, it's, it's done. Um, there might be an Oracle card coming, I think, but I wonder what actual time of the day it is. I have lots of things to do. Um, I don't think it's the Rose Oracle that we're gonna pull from and I have all tarot decks here. So give me a second. Hi, I'm actually supposed to keep this on while I'm looking. I don't know. I grabbed it. All right. What do we got over here, Regan? Interesting. If you guys can still hear me, it's probably going to have the Isis Oracle fell, but I wasn't sure about it. And where my eye went is the Divine Feminine Oracle, and that's which was like in a different place than the Isis one. You know what I mean? But I would not have necessarily noticed it if it didn't, if the Isis one didn't fall and make my attention go there. So, however that relates to any of you. Where did this guy come from? <laughs> I don't remember. Maybe this guy too. Um, and this guy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five decks. And the Isis. Okay, fine. Oh, God. Hold on. There's another one. Really? Oh, there's too many. Two more. Okay. So many decks. This is how it goes. Rainbow Warrior. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we're going to do it like that? All right, hold on. <laughs> we're going to do it like this. We're going to go deck by deck and see if it wants to be used unless a message comes in clearer. Clearer. More clearer than that. There's so much love between you and your person. There's going to be equal. It's it's an equal amount of love for one another. What might not have been equal up till now is how it was shared and shown and showed how each of you showed up. You know what I mean? But there's there's this. I just can't stop. My eyes are drawn to this. This, her face is like a beacon. And then I just keep seeing that and then him, but how it's so guided. You are in your emperor, empress, high priestess, magician, hermit state. Do you know what I mean? You're in your, like, it's strong and it's stronger than it's ever been. Your glory, your glorious side. Okay, what do we got going on here? Rainbow activator warrior. I I have barely ever used this deck. Oh, maybe this is like the pick a card <laughs> part. Or like you guys get to pick one of the I don't know. You know what I mean? Hmm. I'm gonna split them. 
Isn't that funny how that works like that? It's like immediate. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter if they're, I don't think. This is number 47. I feel like it's how you're viewing. It, it could be third eye opening, or it could be, it, it could, it feels like an opening that is, there's still like an illusion or a, like a layer of something blocking it. And whatever that is, is maybe a truth that needs to be pulled in and integrated. So it could be like your voice or your third eye. I don't know, we're gonna read it. Maybe I'm totes off. I don't know, but it's number 47, which is 11, which is sole purpose. And then on the split is number one. Look at that. It feels very Ace of Wands, right? Like I felt that in my fucking vagina, in my, sac in my sacral chakra. And number two. Oh, and then we have, oh. And, oh, that's beautiful, right? That to me is is like saying harmony, harmony. Well, we have to read all three of them. What the fuck? That's super cool. Okay. Well, we'll start with 47. Communication, expression, translation, feelings, interpretation, awareness. They did a great job with the artwork. Let me see, hold on. Okay. The way we communicate and the things we say have a lasting impact on ourselves and others and cannot be erased except with deliberate intent and shift to a new idea. That implies the work. You know what I mean? I think this is just a reminder of, of that part of you that's newer. This is just maybe a deeper way to explain it so that you can integrate it further in. Often our environment and the energy of others can have a subtle impact on us that we may not be aware of. Absolutely, and you might be aware of it. And if you are at all empathic, which I know you are because you're here and you're watching this, you're picking up energies, you're clairsentient, definitely. Pay attention to the words you choose and the tone you use and the place where you're coming from. Where are you emotionally? Where are you stably? They can give you an indication of how your world is affecting you. It is where the things you are unconsciously picking up from your surroundings will reveal themselves. Are your words charged with emotional pain, gratitude, or love? Are those your feelings? Do the chosen words suit what you wish to communicate exactly? This is great. Your current situation is asking you to take stock of the way you speak to yourself and to others and the subtle effects of your impact or others' impact on you. Right now, honesty, awareness, and gratitude is your goal in the current situation. So for some of you, that is, that is having those realizations and having the courage to use your voice and having the courage to really look at yourself and see what you're contributing and what the truth is and, and then having the courage to enact it and be it and remedy it or, or yeah, I don't know, enact with a better word, better word. <laughs> okay, let's see what... Number one on the split is crazy. Oh, these are cool. My fucking cats. Transition, response, energy, joy, mindful awareness. I see it as like leveling up, but like ladders. Do you know what I mean? Like the journey, it just, I, it just reminds me of the Ace of Wands. 
which is the new be like a, a new beginning, a path is laid in front of you for creativity and inspiration. That's how you're inspired and the and the fire to enact to follow through with it, right? Action is the transition from one experience to another. The state of motion requires immense presence and awareness. This is pretty cool. Do you find yourself reacting to things or responding to them? And it's so, the one right before this, right? All about being aware of what the words you choose, but also what's what's impacting them, what's influencing them, where's, you know what I mean? This is really interesting. And now we're going on, so we're going from like speaking to action. The difference consists of what you know about the events leading up to the current moment, as well as your personal mastery of the circumstances at hand your ability to stay in alignment, your ability to bear witness and not personalize, right? That's like the goal. To almost like remove yourself, have like a like a, a bubble around you that the energy certain energies can't if if it if that energy frequency comes up, it gets it stops there so that it pauses so you have that long to look at it, realize where it is and what to where to put it. Do you know what I mean? Think about when you're really in alignment, like maybe you do yoga or something or you go run or whatever it is. When your body is, you're fully like you're comfortable at ease in your body and you're very aware in a witness way of things around you. This would be enough time for you to figure out clearly to discern what what is and what to do you know what i mean if you're like this that's not going to be enough you're going to feel and that's your sign that you're not in alignment biology and habit can often be impetus the impetus for our reactions but it's our spiritual awareness and choices that will ultimately train the mind and body to respond not react any action taken now will change your position Pay attention to your environment, feelings, and thoughts. Yeah, where we are, it's just a different, it's a different aspect of where we already came to with the very soon. You are on the precipice of the next part of your life and, the, and, and a communion and a co-creation is part of that. And so everything you're doing now, figure out what you want, right? Be clear on what you want. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Like I said, like it's, it could be that fast of like you go to sleep and you wake up and everything is different or you go to sleep and you wake up and there's snow outside and there wasn't or the flower bloomed. Do you know what I mean? Like that. I feel like I trailed off, but I feel like you got the idea. Once you become clear about the move to be made, do it with all the awareness, energy, and joy you can muster. Everything you're doing now is going to directly affect the path you're taking and, and the things that come to you. You will meet with the support you need on every level. It is safe for you to be loved. Remember, look at the angel up there. You are, this is, you're not doing this alone. You have built up a relationship with the divine and with your source energy and your soul. Don't forget about it. Don't leave it behind and don't abandon it and don't, um, Catch yourself if, if you're doing any of those things. Catch yourself before you do them. Catch yourself so that you can realign yourself. You know what I mean? Breathe, assess, focus, know, go. Hmm, that'd be interesting. Breathe, assess, focus, know, go. I feel like it's too long. <laughs> That's too long. I mean, I live in the city and like on the street, that would be too long. The three would be enough, but the five, the two extra, you know, you can know, <laughs> no. So maybe you, maybe you shift between five. I don't know. Figure out and it, what I'm hearing is this is saying, this is coming through as guidance, as like a, 
manuscript downloads through me for, for all of us, but as like a plan of how to, what to execute and how. So breathe, assess, focus, no go. Figure out your timing and your words that follow along with the spirit of those. You feel me? Okay, let's go to number two. Activation. This card makes my, I feel it right here, right in my heart chakra. It's like the beautiful harmony and merging of, of formerly separate things. Stimulate, amplify, amplify, trigger, convert, willingness, stasis, quantum shift, sacred geometry. I don't know if we're going, pulling any more cards. My throat is also hurting because I don't have any water up here. What is the most prevalent energy active in your life today? Right now, mine is like learning, is being open, is, is witness, is, is further developing my ability to be the witness. The Tao Te Ching just popped up in my head. T A O T, separate word, T E, separate word, C H I N G. I think that's how. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's an easy read and it changed my life and that's coming through. It's these like, it's beautiful. Okay. Yes to be a witness. So whatever yours is, right? Are you ready for a change? It's time to enact it. Get off your asses, get off my hiney. Activation heralds a time of kundalini movement in the body and great change in your perception. I've been recently um, doing kundalini yoga. Maybe some of you. Or maybe this is like, go try it out or look into it. If you're unfamiliar with what Kundalini energy is, definitely look this up, okay? These are coming through as like lessons, like teaching lessons, right? I'm not the teacher. I'm just the microphone <laughs> that's coming through. You feel me? <laughs> okay. Throughout your life, since childhood, your chi energy has moved through your body to activate your endocrine system. Look into qigong, too. That's, I've been doing that, too. Each glandular activation is directly related to the spiritual and emotional elements that the particular gland governs. It's the mind, it's the spirit-body connection, it's the divine-human connection, how it how they, that they come together, how they come together, and then what it feels like, looks like for you to recognize within yourself so that you can use it as part of your foundation to keep you firmly rooted and still open, right? The activations we are most aware of take place in the fight or flight glands of the pancreas. It says islets of Langerhans and the pituitary gland activated at puberty. These activations can cause major shifts in the central nervous system and the chemistry of the body in addition to how we perceive, think, and feel. I feel like I'm, there's something in that part. The activations we almost would take place. Okay, so like survival mode, right? So back in the back in the origin, those came up for danger situations of literal like survival. And so something in your past got wired in incorrectly, was distorted. You were in a situation that was unsafe, maybe not physically, but maybe, but, but most likely, definitely, there's an emphasis on the mental, emotional space. Like your, your divine self was put in danger and 
the remnants of that you're are still relevant prevalent in your life like you have this that's what you've been working through to let go of and let them just stay you know like you're you're like literally moving yourself out of them but it they're still here and they're just gonna go into the ether do you know what i'm saying you gently you're do you've done this fiercely and gently and they're going to be turned into light and matter to um rebirth something new you know and nurture something new so this is i think that being aware of that because you don't want to be you only want to be in a in a place of reacting if it's if it's immediate danger you want what you ideally want is to respond first do you know what i mean a response a reaction is is something unexpected something threatening in a way or you know what i mean it's a it's a rapid shift in the timeline in your in immediate for you the energy is distorted and dissonant you know what i'm saying embrace each awakening know you are safe by nurturing yourself with love understanding patience and nutrition so get on your four of swords folks get on your hierarchical needs what you're putting in your body how you're moving your body how much sleep you are giving your body and what you're doing to your emo your your spiritual body and having a, a safe comfortable environment where you feel safe nurtured and inspired by I don't know if you heard that, but someone next door, I live in a row home, so, you know, it can hear through, um, just went, yeah, literally immediately as I ended saying that. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. I'm not sure if there's any more. Oh, I, I'm hearing to put them, to show you guys them all together. interesting there we go okay so this is an activation reading huh all of us just got activated. Why? The Isis Oracle. Ah, come on. I have things to do. Well. This is my lesson, I guess, for staying in the flow. Stay in the flow and be open to, yes, the universe knows I have things to do in the timeline. And it's telling me this is coming through. So, let myself be open to it. Stop fighting it. And be fully present to it. Okay. Oh. I'm going to show these, but we're not going to. Abundance of Sothis. Abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. Continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you. <laughs> Freely share your talents, love, wisdom, and self, and enjoy the abundance responsibly. Now remember, you're freely sharing them because your energetic reserve is full and preserved and you have an overflow and you are rooted. You are in alignment and, and rooted equally to your 3D physical earth presence and your everything that your energetic presence. I have to come up with a better word for that. Better way to describe it. Okay. And the brother in darkness. Whenever negative energy is present, it is, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. 
You shall overcome any negative energy with grace and triumph. Remember the strength card. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. Right, because the feminine energy creates and maintains and sustains the environment. So when a negative energy comes in, it's just, it's, it's just trying to penetrate. It doesn't need to penetrate and it doesn't need to take anything that you are away. So regardless of gender for you, it's about all of us cultivating that aspect of ourselves solidifying it she's really standing out magic and ritual and then i'm gonna see i'm gonna shuffle effect in the external world can be created through inner practice okay heart-centered ritual can support your inner path in the physical world meditation It's like being inspired, right? Being rejuvenated or like going to the mountains, feeling the breeze on your face, whatever it is. Cooking, smelling, whatever. You are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice as you grow in grace, love, ability, and wisdom, applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. Let's see if I can turn this stupid light off yet. Is that weird? It's too fucking early in the day for like bright ass light to be on. You know what I'm saying? Okay. These are all activations. These are all manuscripts I keep hearing. But, but what is the word I'm trying to like not guide it's the whatever but it is it's the ah, ah, i don't know what the word is tell me in the comments thank you i'm getting all sweaty now all right this is definitely the end Whew. yeah see i have my workout clothes on people i was on my way to do leg to do glutes day not leg day <laughs> this is the Isis deck, right? Remember it fell off and made me get the other deck. And then um, this is the Isis card. Soul retrieval. Isis, healing goddess, now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval. Google it if you don't know what it is, okay? Reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power. Wellness. So be willing to go through the healing process, knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to wholeness. And there you go. Sorry I threw you down, Isis. Well, this was dope. Um, thank you. Thanks for being in a place where you needed to hear that message so that it came up for me so that I could also hear the message. So thank you for that. Thanks for sharing your energy with me. And um, let me know in the comments if you want about your progress during where whatever you're working on right now and where you are maybe you'll find somebody else in the comments who who could support you and be you guys can support each other you know what i mean okay bye for now ciao ciao did i ever even say who i am i'm denise i'm denise this is Surrender to the Flow Tarot. Oh, God, hilarious. Okay, bye. Oh, my God, one more. Sorry, the bottom. I looked at it, and I was like, oh, was supposed to read that, so I'm going to. Initiation. When you are being initiated into the divine mysteries of light, love, and power, 
there are moments of profound challenge. The key is to find the light within the challenge, the opportunity for growth that can transform any challenge into an experience of healing. With compassion and cleverness, you will not burn during your challenges. You shall thrive. Okay, now for real, bye.